Hello and welcome to What The Hey, where I'm your regular host of What The Hey, and today on What The Hey, I'm once again answering yet another question. When I go to my notebook of knowledge, I see the question of, what the hey is a Chinese water deer? No, I'm actually the one who asked this question because I saw a picture of this animal like a long time ago, and every time I see a weird animal, I'm like, I gotta talk about it, so here we are. Now, in terms of a very basic description, the Chinese water deer is a subspecies of water deer that has a very unique appearance. Now, to make you sound kind of smart, if you want to sound smart, because who doesn't want to sound smart, uh, the kingdom that the Chinese water deer is in would be Animalia, and then there is the fancy binomial name. I never know how to say those, uh, but there it is. Now, there are actually two types of water deer because I already mentioned that the Chinese water deer is a subspecies. Now, there is a South Korean, like, Korean water deer, so there's mainly two. So there's the Chinese water deer as well as the Korean water deer, uh, both subspecies of the water deer. But there have also been small groups of the water deer put in Britain as well as France. However, with France specifically, it's kind of theorized that they're not there anymore, like they're kind of extinct in France. So if you're looking to go and see a water deer, go to either Britain, China, or Korea. There you go. Now the reason why they're called water deer is mainly because of where they live around because for the most part they're around like rivers, mountains, swamps, grasslands, and fields, so stuff with a lot of vegetation around it. Speaking of which, Chinese water deer and other deer specifically eat vegetation like grass and leaves, so that's kind of what they have in their diet. Overall, the water deer species, including the Korean and Chinese water deer, tend to live around 10 to 12 years, which I had no idea what that was the case. That's pretty long. It's not like giant tortoise living forever long, but it's still pretty long. When studying the behaviors of water deer, Chinese water deer in general, for the most part, they tend to be shy and cautious. Around the time of like breeding and baby being born season, the deer will tend to be a lot more territorial, which makes sense because if there are babies being born, you'd want to protect the baby. So just don't be there around that time, please and thank you. So for this section of the video, I'm going to kind of describe and give information on the physical kind of characteristics of water deer because that's typically what I find to be the most unique about this creature. In trying to get a visual like kind of representation of the Chinese water deer, they tend to be like 18 to 22 inches in terms of like shoulder height, so they're not that tall. They also weigh like 20 to 31 pounds, so like thinking in terms of dogs, they're like small dog breeds, like they're not that huge. When speaking of the color variations that you have for Chinese water deer and water deer in general, for the most part they're kind of like a brown slash golden brown. The face of water deer can also kind of be gray or red, so it just depends on what part of the deer you're looking at. They also have black eyes, black nose, uh, short round ears. Both the male and female parts of the species have small, cute round ears. Additionally, water deer have like a short face. It kind of looks weird, but that's just how it is. And then they have a small round tail. So for the most part, they look like most deer. However, the reason why they don't look like most deer is because they have tusks. They have really pointy, long teeth. Which relates to how Chinese water deer are considered musk deers, which means they don't have antlers like real deers, which there's technically a difference between musk deers and true deers because, as I already said, they don't have antlers. The male part of the Chinese water deer species tend to have longer tusks. They can get around to like 3.1 inches, which is pretty long. For the most part, the tusks in general are used for fighting for like dominance and territory, so it makes sense as to why they have them. They just look super cool. In terms of some other information, Chinese water deer can make a bunch of different sounds. Their bark specifically is a little scary, not gonna lie. But yeah, they do like barks, they can do like yips, yaps, and yells. But in terms of my general reason, the whole reason why I decided to do research on this topic in general was because of the teeth. Which I think why I even found a picture of a Chinese water deer in the first place is because I was researching like what female deer species have antlers because most don't. So I was like looking for pictures of female deer species with antlers because I was like, that'd be kind of cool to see one. Um, and then I came across the Chinese water deer that have teeth instead of antlers and that's pretty cool. I think they're called vampire deer also, which makes sense because you know, the teeth. 
But that's essentially the answer to the question. So if you have any questions, let me know and I'll get to answering them as soon as I can. So thank you very much for watching. Bye.